Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three Hey guys, so I hope everyone is doing well. I made this video before Christmas, but I was unable to post it until now, so I apologize for that. But anyways, let's get into it. So this video is my night routine. Um, this is the candle that I would light every night. It's crushed candy cane, and let me tell you, it smells just like a candy cane. So good. And this is my outfit. You know, the, if you watched my other video, you saw this shirt in my haul. And anywho, then I go and put on my pajamas. And check out my Christmas lights I decorated with in my bathroom. Here's the pajamas for the night. My grandma actually used to have a pair of pajamas just like this. So normally I would take a shower at night, but because my hair was in braids, I wanted to save it so that it could be wavy the next day. So I'm just putting the braids in some buns while I take off my makeup and wash my face and all that kind of stuff so that it won't get in the way. But normally I would take a shower or a bath at night so I don't have to do it in the morning. But like I said, I wanted to save my braids um, so that my hair would be wavy the next morning. What the heck happened to that one? So recently I've been using these makeup wipes to start by taking my makeup off. I'll just use one of these to wipe as much away as I can. For a while I was using some cleansing water stuff and some cotton rounds, but since I ran out I've just been using a makeup wipe. After that, I take this little brush and I use this bar of soap. This is a charcoal soap. I start by wetting my face with warm water. Then I wet the brush and just kind of rub it around on the bar of soap to get it nice and set. And I just start washing my face, making sure I get like everywhere on my face except my eyes.
then all I do is just rinse it off and pat dry my face with a towel. Next, I just take some coconut oil and use a little bit on my eyes. It only takes just a little bit. And I just kind of rub it around on my eyes to get any makeup off of my eyes that didn't come off with the makeup wipe. This is a tip in case you have a hard time getting makeup off your eyes. And then after I've rubbed it on there, then I just kind of rinse it off. And then obviously I just pat dry my face again. After that, I like to take a Q-tip or two and just kind of go underneath my eye for any of the like makeup that kind of, you know, is just under my eyelid after I've rinsed it off. And next, I brush my teeth. And every night, I floss my teeth after brushing them. Do you floss? If not, you should. It's really important. And this is the mouthwash that I like to use every night. It's the Act, and it doesn't have any alcohol in it, so it doesn't burn. And I like how all you have to do is just kind of squeeze it, and it'll come up to the top. So this is a new product that I've been trying recently, it's Hyaluronic Acid plus Vitamin C. And I just kind of squirt a little bit on my face and then rub it in. A couple of days after using this product, I did get some acne like on my forehead and I think a little bit on my cheek. But it could have just been because my face wasn't used to it, you know, like having a new product on my face. But I've continued to use it and I no longer have acne, so I'd say this work, this product works well for me as a moisturizer. It's important not to forget your neck anytime you're using a moisturizer. Always make sure you get that neck. This is the moisturizer that I've been using for my face. It's St. Ives, uh, watermelon scented. It smells so good, especially like as a summertime moisturizer because it's really light on your skin. It's not heavy and thick. And the hyaluronic acid bottle says to use a moisturizer after using the product. So I've still been using this and I really like it. You should try it. So that's it for all of my nighttime routine stuff for the bathroom. Moving on to the bedroom. Um, I just start by taking down my hair out of the buns and just having it back in the little braids. Then I like to mark off the day of my calendar and just kind of look and see if there's anything that's coming up. Then I just get into bed and read my nightly devotion. And then after I finish that, sometimes I get on some social media. Then I get up, blow out my candles, and start turning off lights so I can go to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!